Hey guys, Jaws of Shark Reviews here, and today we're going to be doing yet another news video. Now this one will be a pretty quick one. This is on yesterday's news of some new Studio Series figures, but there's a little bit of a twist. A pretty big one, in fact. So, let's get into it right now. So, as I said before, yesterday has revealed... Not one, not two, but three new Studio Series figures that come out sometime later this year. And either during the summer or maybe early fall, I don't know. But anyways, so yeah, these these figures were revealed. And I, I, I'm pretty sure you guys already know by now what they are. But, so, uh, but yeah. So anyways, so this is not a normal Studio Series figure or anything or, you know, SSA 6. But it is a new subline, but it's not from any of the movies. That's right, folks. These are video game figures. And yeah, so yeah, apparently there's a Hasbro's launching a new subline in Studio Series called Game On. I, I think that's what it is. And yeah, so it's it's kind of a parallel to the SS86, you know, subline. Which, of course, covers characters from the 1986 animated film. But, but yeah, but these, these are video game characters. So, you know, we're talking War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron, Devastation, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the Michael Bay, Bayverse movie, uh, video game characters and stuff. And, yeah, so... And, and much more. This could also include the upcoming Reactivate game. So, if they, if, you know, that's the case, then I'm looking forward to see what those look like. But, yeah. So, anyways, here uh, are the figures. And now these are all based on War for Cybertron. And, yeah, it, this is, like, it was both sun. Like, we expected, you know, these to be revealed at some point. I was thinking either summer at the latest fall, but at the very least summer that they reveal these, because there were listings of Studio Series War for Cybertron figures, but it's like, okay, but when are they going to be revealed? I mean, you know, they were listed for 2023, it's just they never said, you know, when they're coming out or something. But, um, yeah, so but here they are, and, yeah, yesterday, you know, I saw that these revealed, it's like, oh, wow, that, that was sudden. But yeah, but anyways, let's stop, stop talking about that, and let's get right into the reveals themselves. So starting off here, we got Barricade, and I believe this is the first time officially that Barricade and War for Cybertron has gotten a figure, because in the original line from 2010, they, he never had a figure, so this is like a first room. I gotta say, this looks pretty nice. I do like, especially, you know, the purple, you know, uh, shiny paint that they got. They're metallic purple, that's where I'm like for and yeah, and of course he's got his gun there. I think that might be accurate to the game, but I'm not sure. And then here's his alt mode. That actually looks pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of something from like Robots in Disguise 2015. And I mean, I know they're both in the line continuity, but still. Just kind of an aesthetic look. But I am I think it is game accurate. And yeah, yeah, it's game accurate. And yeah, it looks pretty, pretty cool. And yeah, so there's that. And that's the packaging. Oh, Gamer Edition. <laughs> I thought it was Game On. A yeah, Gamer Edition, that's it. So yeah, now next up we have Bumblebee, and I gotta say, he looks pretty good. Aside from the chest, of course, because <laughs> it's sticking out a little too much, but I'd say besides that, he looks pretty good. Now the original one from 2010, that was probably one of the better figures, except for scale, he was a little big, but, you know, uh, most of the figures were deluxes, and then they had some Voyagers for, like, special characters, like Soundwave, or that was Fall of Cybertron, but still, and yeah, so I'm, you know, I'm... Yeah, I'm glad that they're, you know, doing more scale-accurate stuff this time. And, yeah, but I'd say Bumblebee looks pretty good. Um, again, you know, he's got his chest sticking out, unfortunately, but, you know, it's grown me a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't look as bad in hand. That's kind of the only complaint I have, really, so far. And the alt mode, as always, looks great. And, yeah. And then here's some stock photos. And, oh, yeah, he also has a sword from the game. That's pretty cool. And, yeah. And, of course, just like the main Studio Series line, he is 01. Just, just like the Camaro Bumblebee, the classic Camaro Bumblebee. So, yeah. And, finally, here we have the, the, bi the big guy himself, Optimus Prime. And, I gotta say, this looks very, very good. 
Especially, I really like the paint that they, and details they have for his axe. It looks really nice. And, of course, his gun appears to fling out, so, yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Um, all right, I think it could attach to something that does flip. And so it can kind of have, like, what he had in the game. That, that's really cool. I really like that metallic red paint. And I think the blue's also a metallic paint. It looks really nice. It looks like a nice premium f feel to it. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case on the actual figure because there's this photo here and it's kind of red plastic. But either way, like, like here, it looks really good. And then here, just regular red, red plastic. But it still does look good nonetheless. And aesthetically, it's more accurate because, you know, in the game, he's pretty beefy. That's what you see here. But on the original toy, he was pretty skinny. And the fact that there's people complaining about it, it's like, oh, no, he's not. It's like, it's like do, do you see what he looked like in the actual game? So, yeah. And he does come with his Matrix this time around, so that's really cool. And, yeah, so really, really nice reveals. Just thought I'd do you know, a nice, quick little news video showing these off because I, I think these are quite shocking. You know, this came out of nowhere, but they're pleasant surprises. And, you know, I'm glad that, that these weren't leaked. I mean, well, obviously the listings were, but not any photos. We kind of, you know, get to see everything first time, so I do like that. So, yeah. So all three look pretty good. Definitely going to buy them. You know, I want to see where this goes. I want to keep supporting you know, this little gamer edition subline because I'd like to see what they do with it and hopefully get a lot of characters that we haven't gotten before or better versions of these characters. So yeah. yeah, that's pretty much it for this news video. So anyways, guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share for more and comment down below what do you think of all this news I just covered. So anyways, guys, as always, till all are one.